Hello, in this video, we will discuss about UDP, User Datagram Protocol. Guys, in the last video, we discussed about TCP. If you remember, TCP was Connection Oriented Protocol. It means whenever TCP want to exchange data, they have to, or you can say client and server have to establish a session before exchanging data. But in case of UDP, UDP is connectionless. It means client can directly send UDP data to the server. There is no need to establish a virtual connection. Now you want to ask where we will use UDP. In real time scenarios, UDP is used in video and voice conferencing or you can say where we want uh, real time data exchange or you can say where we want fast data exchange in those cases we will use UDP. Now one more thing I want to add here, UDP will not provide you anything like flow control. If you are sending some segments, let's say you are sending some segment, let's say this is the user, this is the server and you are sending some data and buffer is full on this end. There is no way to stop it. Fine. So, in case of UDP, there is no flow control. Now you want to ask me if the, there is no problem to this solution, how UDP will work. Actually in UDP, we will always send smaller amount of data. We will not send big amount of data. In the upcoming videos, we will discuss about MSS, maximum segment size, that how big a TCP segment will be and how big a UDP datagram will be. Then you will understand that yes, UDP can tolerate flow control. So basically in UDP, we don't have anything like flow control because we use UDP for real time applications or you can say for transferring video and voice data. Next, what is the or you can say what are the applications that are based on UDP? So I have two protocols, one is NTP, other one is DNS. Both protocols use, you can say UDP. Uh, we have some more protocols also which are using UDP like DSCP we have, we have many more. So we are not going to discuss everyone here. So in this video we have discussed what is UDP and how it works and what are the different protocols that are using UDP. Thank you.